What's up guys, it's Alex the Magician here, and this video is going to be a continuation of the previous video that I recorded on early game guard creatures. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to actually do a demonstration of how to do some of the early game fights. Uh, so first I'm going to focus on the fights that are more doable, like these whites over here for example, these ogre magi over here, uh, these golems. So I'll focus on the fights that you do want to take on uh, like turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. And then after that, I will show you guys how to do some of the more difficult fights, like for example, these Grand Elves and things like that, and what is required to do that. So let's just go ahead and jump into the demonstration, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do some of these fights. So first, let's go for these golems. This is a super easy fight. Um, you really don't need too much to do this. So as you can see, we only have our day one army. These are We have 106 upgraded troglodytes, and uh, we've got uh, some one stacks that we got from other heroes that we bought in the tavern. And, you know, a bunch of other miscellaneous units that we're going to use basically as meat. For this fight, I don't really need to bring any meat because the golems are really slow. And uh, my stack of troglodytes will be able to one-shot them. So all I need are one stacks and uh, the stack of troglodytes. Let's go. See, even auto combat does pretty well, but we can do better. We don't need to lose any troglodytes. The good thing about the golems is that they don't have morale, so we don't have to worry about that. What you want to try to do in most of these early game fights, as I said before, you want to conserve your uh, stack of troglodytes as much as possible, or your day one units, whatever you're starting with. This fight would be similar with uh, somebody like Dracon, somebody like Galtran, so if you're fighting on day one units, you're pretty much doing the same thing. And what that is, is you're trying to separate these stacks. So sometimes you'll be fighting units that are a little bit faster or um, a little bit more tanky that you may not be, you don't really want your troglodytes to fight multiple stacks. You want to pick them off one by one, right? So what you want to do is you want to send some units to the top and it's good if you have fast units too that, that you can wait with and then get behind so that some of these stacks turn around. In this fight, I don't necessarily need to get them to turn around, but I do need to uh, have some of the stacks focus on top here so that my troglodytes can pick off one, uh, one by one these other stacks. And another useful thing is to hit after waiting. So if your stacks are faster, if your troglodytes are faster than whatever you're fighting, what you can do, especially on something like these golems that don't have morale, what you can do is you can wait and you can have um, basically two attacks because you're going to go and then you're going to go again uh, at the beginning of next turn because you're faster. You just have to make sure that you're not they're not going to get to you in one turn. So what I'm going to do, I believe they already moved this turn, right? Okay, yep, it's the first turn, so... I just have to be out of reach of this stack. So let's go over here, I think. Now I'm going to wait. These guys are all going to wait also. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I can pick off this stack with the troglodytes and then this stack. And then I can focus on those stacks and do the similar attack after waiting. Okay, just like this. All right, now these guys can start moving down. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot wait now because we are going to get hit by the stack. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up and we're going to try to reposition in a way that's actually going to allow us to pick off one of these stacks. Or actually what I can do, yeah, what I can do here is go this way and sacrifice one of the one stacks, which is not a huge deal. I can probably do this fight without sacrificing any of the one stacks, but I'll do it like this to make it faster. So I know that my troglodytes are out of reach over here. And then what's going to happen is I'll have one of these stacks move this way. This stack is just within reach to it. So he's going to move to attack this stack. And then this stack is going to move towards my troglodytes because they're the closest target. So I'm going to back all of these guys up. Yep, exactly what I want. Now we can pick off this stack. And then again, we're just going to wait with everybody else. Uh, and since troglodytes are the closest target, they're going to move to towards the troglodytes. And now we can pick them off. And there you have it, guys. That is pretty much the mechanic that you want to use for most of the early game fights. So just to demonstrate this to you guys one more time, we're going to go ahead and do another fight. Now we're going to do a fight that's a little bit more difficult, these Ogre Magi here. But see, as I was saying before, you can do the Ogre Magi if they're only guarding a hive. But here, when they're already guarding more uh, resources and stuff, there's already a lot more of them. So just watch out for that. But usually when they're guarding one hive and that's it, it's not that bad. So day one, you should be able to do this. Now, in this case, I am going to bring Harpies as one stacks because they're going to be faster than the ogres these guys are going to be slower so it's important to have faster units so you can kite if you need to and you can take retail um, if you need to as well so let's go okay see auto combat does a little worse but i think we can do okay actually so when there's a lot of stacks like that again it's very important to try to separate them so that's what I'm going to try to do. The troglodytes will one-shot them, so I don't need to take retail. What we're going to need to focus on is bringing some of these stacks here and some of them here, and again, picking them off one by one. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this did not quite go how I wanted it to go. Now let me see if I can try to separate them now like this all of them wow all of them go that way all right so let's bring one of one of the stacks down wow they are not cooperating right now i would say so what I would need to do is I would need to sacrifice one of the Harpy stacks, like this. And see, this is the problem with creatures that, are, that can get morale, is that morale can definitely screw up some of your early game fights. Okay, uh-huh, see? All right, but that's good. Now I can pick off two of the stacks. Okay. Okay, see, so this pretty much went pretty well. I, don't, I basically only lost the one stacks. I did lose a few troglodytes, but this is very acceptable still. Alright guys, so now I'm going to do this fight here with the whites. Um, this is actually one of the more difficult day one fights because they're guarding this artifact here as well, besides this hive, which I think is a quest artifact, so there's 50 plus of them. So, But I think it's still doable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all of my meat with me, that way I'll still have something left over to actually do the hive. So let's do that. 
All right, Auto Combat loses 84 Troglodytes. I think we can do better. Now, they do have more speed than I do. Well, these guys have the same speed and these have faster speed. So what I like to do against faster units is I like to actually cover in the corner and protect my stack of Troglodytes and have them come to me. So turn one, we basically just defend. And we do shoot with the um, uh, range stacks. Okay, so they decided to go for the beholders. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have the troglodytes. We're gonna have the troglodytes uh, attack this stack, but first we're gonna take retaliation from it with one of these one stacks. So we wait with the troglodytes. The harpies will wait as well. Now the Beholders, I think I'll just position them somewhere over here. I probably will save it because they can absorb another hit. Now see, a useful trick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Troglodytes in this hex here and I'm going to protect it from both of these sides. So. In that case, I will not get attacked by all of these stacks. I will get attacked by one of them, probably. So let's see what we can do. Okay, let's wait with these guys. Wait. Now we take retaliation. Now we're gonna attack from this hex, and this, so this guy, first of all, he's gonna do some damage, and he's also gonna serve as a shield for my troglodytes. Okay, now we can put this one stack here, it doesn't quite matter. Now we can attack with these, oh, actually I could have attacked. Okay, and now the harpies are gonna stand over here, just make sure you do the no return, so they don't uh, attack in return. So there we go. Now we're gonna wait with the troglodytes, I think. Right, so they focus down the pikemen which is fine, which is completely fine. So now we're gonna focus down uh, one of these other stacks. Let's focus on the 18 stack, so we can still try to protect uh, our troglodytes as much as possible. Okay, now they try to focus on the harpies, which is fine, so we can wait. Alright, and now what we're going to do is we're going to attack this stack. Okay, take retail from this stack. And the troglodytes do this. Okay, and that's it. They died to retaliation. So see, that fight went almost perfectly. I only lost three troglodytes. I lost most of my meat, but that is okay. Now we still do have uh, 11 harpies. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go for this hive. The hive is actually a mini, uh, which would have been better if it was a size two, but let's see if we can do better than the auto combat. So what we do is we wait with the stack of um, harpies. Okay, but we did, did exactly the same because they got two morales. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for this hive here. It's also size one or two. The only problem right now is I don't have any more one stacks left. So what I'm gonna do, I would not have been able to do this on turn one. I would have had to, um, you know, if I did this on turn one and I went over here, it would have been about turn two. So what I'm gonna do is to make this a little bit more realistic, I'm gonna bring some additional one stacks with me. So let's say day two, we buy the Pillar of Eyes for some additional one stacks. And um, that's gonna help us with doing this fight. Alright, 
unfortunately we lost a wyvern. Uh, let's try to do better than that. Okay. Um, let's see. So wait with the wyvern. We're gonna kill one of these stacks. <coughs> <coughs> then we're gonna take retaliation with the stack and attack with the wyvern. Ah, so they go f straight for my wyvern. Yes, there's probably no way to actually do better. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, we still ended up losing a wyvern. But we did save a few troglodytes. Okay, so now what we have is we have 81 wyvern and, uh, I mean, 81 troglodytes and 9 wyvern. I checked this cons before that we killed the golems too, and I'm going to try to do that with some additional one stacks that I'll buy next day. So in the real game, uh, if I didn't have the cheat for the infinite movement, I probably would have poor man Shakti. Actually, no, I probably would have gone for this hive um, here. But for the sake of making this quicker, let's go ahead. Actually, no, no. yeah, let's, let's go and do that hive. Let's go and do that other hive. So unfortunately, in this case, um, I'm going to have to split my troglodytes. So let's do this fight. And I'll see day one, this would have been a tougher fight than the other Ogre Magi because these guys are also guarding a couple of piles of resources and there's 20 plus of them. So there are a lot more. There were only 16 here. Here, there's going to be a lot more. So you see, there's actually 26, 10 more of them. That is a much more difficult fight. So, again, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to take uh, retaliation from them intelligently. So that we can actually... Uh, lose the minimum fighting them. Okay. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to back up. Okay, we can finish this stack, um, but we're going to need to take retail from this stack as well. Now, here's the useful trick. We waited with these units, and now we're going to move them this way so that we can drag these stacks back. All right, this stack is going to be here to take retail from there, and then we might actually... Alright, so the Wyvern are going to hit this stack. Actually, no, that's not what's going to happen. They're going to hit this stack. And then we're going to try to protect the Wyvern. And these stacks are going to do their best to drag these guys back here. Like that. And now we're going to protect this stack. Ugh. If that didn't happen, this would have been better. But that's okay. This is still going all right. So now we're going to try to back up and we're going to sacrifice one of these stacks like this. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Now let's go ahead and take retail from this seven stack. Now we're going to focus the seven stack. And the wyvern cannot tank any more hits, unfortunately, so... What we're going to have to do, I think... Well, actually, no. They can, I think they can. They can tank. Yeah. They can tank one hit. Oh, no, they can't. So I ended up losing a Wyvern, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. All in all, that fight is somewhat acceptable. If only I didn't lose that Wyvern um, on that fight. But hey, not everything is perfect. Okay, so this is another small hive. Size 45. Unfortunately, I don't think we can do better because they're just going to focus the troglodytes. Actually, we did a little better. Let's get armor, actually. 
Okay, so now we have 14 wyverns, so... Let's say we did that. In the real game, this would have been probably turn 2 and turn 3, maybe? And after that, we could go for this cons that's a size 2 that I killed the golems to before. So... This, this would have been probably turn 3 or maybe turn 4. So to make it a little bit more realistic... What I would have done, I think, after doing this hive is I would have tried to pour man Shakti somewhere, like on these Ogre Magi, and then gone for uh, this cons, because it's a size 2. Now, I do think I need a little bit more meat, potentially. So what I'm going to get is I'm going to get the Medusas, the uh, Chapel of Stilled Souls. Stilled Voices, I mean. Okay, I need some ore. And some wood. Okay, and this is how we're gonna try to do the cons. I think this will be all right. I think the stack of wyvern is enough to one shot them, but let's see. Okay, losing three wyvern, gaining two angels. Let's see if we can do a little bit better in that. Okay. Yeah, and this is why the Medusas are useful, because they can do that. Okay, wait. Okay, we actually saved all our wyvern. So there we go. Now we now have uh, two angels, all right? So, and this is how this game kind of would have gone. So basically, you know, I would have gone for this hive, this hive, and this hive, and then I have two angels. So now we're gonna move on to a demonstration of actually doing some of the more difficult fights when we actually have um, something to do them with. So, for example, these Grand Elves here, right? I probably would not want to be doing this fight. There's 50, 99 of them. I wouldn't want to be doing this fight normally. But in this case, we actually have, um, you know, just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to do it. And essentially, what you need for some of the more difficult fights, like fighting ranged guards like that, or um, maybe something that is really fast or something like that. So... For ranged guards, you need to have fast units, you need to have units that outspeed them, and either tactics or haste. So the goal, essentially, for doing ranged guards like these Grand Elves is to get in their face right away on turn one so that you actually do not, uh, you do not actually lose anything, So that because their melee attack is a lot weaker than their ranged attack. And obviously, you also retaliate when you do that. So now that I have the two angels, I think I can do this fight. I may lose some wyvern, but I think that I'll be able to do this fight and um, you know without too much trouble. Now, what I'll do is I'll also get mage guild next turn, <clears throat> so that I can try to get haste. So. For doing those fights, you need a combination of uh, any number of things like fast units, uh, tactics, and or haste. So I'll show you guys how this works. Let's go ahead and get Mage Guild and hope that we have haste. We do not. Um, we need some resources to try to research it. Okay, we got haste, good. So the reason I got haste is because the Grand Elves have a speed of 7, and my Wyvern have also a speed of 7. So what would happen is, if I did not get haste, I can uh, block them with the Angels, I can attack with the Angels, but right after that, the rest of the stacks are going are gonna to attack, and they're probably going to attack the Wyvern. 
So in this case, this is how we're doing this fight. We don't have any more one stacks left, but I think we're going to be okay like this. So out of combat loses an angel and five wyvern, and there's actually 99 of them, which is a lot. It's, it's a lot. But I think we can do better. I think maybe we lose a few wyvern. So this is how you do the fight. And another thing that you do want to have for these fights are good stats. So I do already have six attack and four defense, and I also have expert offense, and I also have armor. So those all help. Those help not take as much damage. You don't want to do these kinds of fights with mages unless you have some good combat magic. That is another thing that you can use to uh, kill more difficult ranged guards is you can use uh, combat magic like uh, chain lightning, maybe meteor shower or something like that. But let's see if we can do this better. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Like I said before, I'm going to block um, the stacks with my angels. So this, this angel is going to block this stack. This angel is going to block this stack. And I haste the wyvern. And I'm going to attack these guys with the wyvern. So that's the way it's going to work. So basically, none of these guys get to actually attack me with their ranged attack. And that way, I think we're going to minimize our losses. And so you see how important it is, even an angel, an angel is not going to reach them without tactics, right? Even an angel will only reach them with speed 13. So it's pretty important to have tactics and or haste to be able to get in their face right away. So that is basically the way to do ranged guards is to get in their face as quickly as possible. So we're going to haste, actually, oh yeah. We do need to haste the wyvern because, as I said, these guys have a speed 7. So after my angels move, if I just block this stack and this stack, these guys both attack me with their ranged attacks. And that's really nasty. So what we're going to do is we're going to haste the wyvern so that the angels move, the angels move, and then the wyvern move. So I block all of them and they don't get to attack me with their ranged attack. Okay, we do lose a wyvern, but that's very, very acceptable in this case, I would say. See, only one wyvern lost. Very acceptable. If you had to do this fight, yeah, now normally I probably wouldn't do this fight, because, uh, you know, there's just 10k XP here. I mean, it's okay, it's an okay box, uh, but it there, and there's probably uh, this glyph of gallantry is probably a quest artifact. So that's probably what made them uh, a bigger guard. But if they're guarding something more useful, like, I don't know, a cons, hive, resources, good artifacts, something like that, this is how you can do that kind of a fight. Now, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to show you guys how to do... Um, for example, okay, these monks. Same thing. Just to demonstrate this again, we're going to be doing the same thing. Now, there's not that many of them. See, even Auto Combat is actually able to do it. But just to show you guys, yeah, basically what we're doing is we're getting in their face right away. So the angels are going to attack. And their speed is only a 5, so the wyvern, we don't need to haste them. So what we're going to do is the angels are going to focus the stack and the wyvern are going to focus the stack. Easy. Now, and day one, this would have been much more difficult. If I did not have, uh, you know, if I was only fighting them on troglodytes, this would have been a much more difficult fight. These 1599 Corsairs, I would actually not really want to fight. This is a little bit difficult uh, because they have no retaliation and they also have no melee penalty. So their attack is about the same um, ranged or melee. So we kind of want to avoid that. Same thing with the Sea Dogs, we want to avoid that because they are the upgraded version of the Corsairs. They're like the only unit, I think, that has three uh, versions. So this is uh, the upgraded version of uh, Pirates, and this is the upgraded version of Corsairs. And they actually also have a precision shot, which will kill my angels. So I uh, learned that the hard way. You don't really want to do those fights. But what we can try to do is we can try to do this fight with the Hydras. That's actually a pretty difficult fight, definitely difficult on day one. 
but now with the army that we already have i think we can do that fight and there's another cons we can do there's a picket we can do so this is and this, this pendant of downfall is a pretty good artifact so let's go ahead and get some additional one stacks like these troglodytes here so we can take retaliation and i think with that we'll be able to do that fight Okay, so there is nine of them, and uh, we lost two angels and a five wyvern, but I think we can do better. The one thing we have to uh, be careful of is their ability of no retaliation. So what we want to try to do is we want to try to get as many of them as possible away. And fight one stack at a time. Basically, take retaliation... Um, Take Retaliation and then attack with the Wyvern and the Angels. And actually, maybe we can focus the Chaos Hydras first. Okay, yeah. The stack is alone, so let's try to get back like this. Attack that. Okay, these Troglodytes, unfortunately, it looks like they're gonna die. Okay, and then we can finish now with the angel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, now let's try to unsynchronize these guys. We'll try to bring one of these stacks down here. Oh, shit. I uh, wasted the angel's movement. Okay, I actually did not do that in the right way. Okay, we attacked this stack. Okay. Alright. Uh, we're not going to be finishing them with the angel right now. We'll do it after waiting. Okay, now we can do that. Now let's try to kite. Let's try to move them here. Move the wyvern back here. And move the stack down. Okay, that's fine. Now I think we can try to kill this stack. See, their speed is a 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, unfortunately they will hit me. So in that case, I'll just kite more. All right, and it looks like we cannot uh, save the Wyvern. So we're going to have to fight. Okay, unfortunately, we get attacked by this stack. All right, but we actually didn't even lose anything because of the no retaliation. Or, I mean, because of armor that we have. All right, now let's try to get away. Wait, now we're going to take retail, and then we're going to attack them, and now we're going to finish them with the Wyvern, I think, and uh, the Angels are just going to brawl the stack, I think. Yep. Okay, see? So basically, I did a very difficult fight uh, with only losing the one stack, so that went pretty perfectly. Okay, so this is kind of how you do it, guys. Uh, basically, for anything that is ranged, you want to have um, tactics, haste, and fast units. Uh, for anything that is dangerous, like the Hydras, you want to have stacks that can do a lot of damage and uh, you know, focus down those one stacks by taking retaliation with one stacks and then preserving your main stacks. So... But you don't want to do those fights until you can snowball some units that can actually handle that. So I hope that you guys found this video useful and helpful. And in the next video, I will start focusing on the break uh, creatures. I'm going to do um, the same thing that I did with these videos. First, I'll describe uh, which ones are good and which ones are bad and why. And then I'm going to do a demonstration of actually doing those fights and what you need to actually do those fights. 
So, uh, if you guys want to see more Heroes 3 content, I actually stream live on Twitch and on YouTube now as well. I'm testing that out. Uh, at the moment, I stream every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, starting around noon Eastern European time. I am experimenting a little with my stream uh, start time, so I may be starting a little bit earlier in the future, but if you guys are interested, you can follow me on Twitch, and that way you'll get notified when I go live. And I do release new videos, new strategy guides uh, just about every week, so if you guys subscribe to me on YouTube as well, uh, you'll get notified when I release more videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.